everybody and welcome back to my Chan Chan. Hope you had a fantastic new year and you have already started the new year's off with a bang. I'm pretty positive. I already broke two of my new year's goals. I have not done any exercise and pretty sure I've eaten the unhealthiest I've ever eaten in the last like two, three days. I had Chinese food two of those days and today all I've had is like desserts and chocolates. So not really doing so well today. What, you know what? Next year I'll start. So in today's video, we are gonna kind of rake out all the old 2019 stock and we're gonna do a haul video of the last little minute items that I got there in 2019. I think I got the majority of these things in November and December. You may have seen one or two of these items pop up in some of my room pans and panoramic shots that I do of my toy room every now and then. I think I have about, eh, 10 or so items or something. And these items are all either from eBay or they're from U sites. And if there's any of you out there that are interested in, you know, how I acquire, you know, my collection, um, where I find things, how I find such good deals, I do have a video um, giving you some tips. So I'll leave that in the little top bar here if you're interested because I do get asked that question quite a lot. So the first item that we have is this really, really awesome Darth Maul piggy bank bust. Some of my absolute favorite items are piggy banks and hand puppets. I think that the companies that, you know, create these, design these, paint these, etc., they put so much detail and effort into them and they're very, very good quality. So if you guys remember, I have some Jurassic Park hand puppets, I have some Godzilla hand puppets, um, and I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. And same thing with some piggy banks. So this is Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace, Star Wars Episode One. I absolutely love Darth Maul. He's one of the coolest looking characters, I think, in the entire Star Wars universe. So the guy who actually created Darth Maul, designed him, everything like that, worked with George Lucas. Um, his name was Ian McKaig. I absolutely love his work. And um, I loved seeing some of the earlier concept work for Darth Maul and kind of how he got to this guy. Um, and Ian McKaig, uh, my brother actually works with his son. So it's cool how I have like a little bit of a tie kind of to Darth Maul. So I know it's a stretch, you know, I know it's a stretch. I am your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. On the bottom, we have Made by NDT Apparel. Um, Lucasfilm Limited. No other years or anything like that, but I assume this was probably 1999 when Phantom Menace came out. Who knows, could probably be after that. So I got this on a U site in my city. I ended up paying $20 for it, Canadian. All these values are in Canadian. When you see Darth Maul, you buy him. Next up, we have these two Jurassic Park The Ride Cups. So you would have seen these in Universal Studios in the gift shop back to like in the in the mid, mid to late 90s or something like that. So we have the T-Rex and we also have the Dilophosaurus. So on this T-Rex cup, we just have this jungle scene with these giant leaves um, with the Jurassic Park The Ride logo here. And it says on the side, you'll wish it was just a movie. No, I don't wish it was just a movie. Um, and on the bottom, it says Universal Studios Hollywood 1990. 96. And on the Dilophosaurus, we have this kind of scene, the breakout scene actually of this electric fence, Jurassic Park the Ride logo, and on the bottom, Universal Studios Hollywood 1997. So this is 1996, 1997. Absolutely love the painting and sculpts on these guys. This just screams 90s to me. And I think they're just really cool pieces. And um, their tops are also different. This one has this kind of a rock pattern, Universal Studios underneath. And on this one, it's kind of this like this bulbous two ring pattern here on the top. Ah! And next up, it is the original Kenner vintage Star Wars Rancor toy um, featured in Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi came out in 1983. So this guy I think is like 1983, 1984 from Kenner. And this was the famous monster featured um, in Jabba's pit down there. You know, that was his kind of personal monster to eat all his sexy dancers and all the people that kind of backsassed him. His wrists move completely all the way around like this and his arms do move front and back and they do move move like side to side like this a little bit. It's on this kind of ball joint, which does allow them to move kind of, you know, a little bit more range of motion. And also he has this little dial here in the back above his tail um, that causes his mouth to open and close. Definitely something I've been wanting to have in my collection forever. I think it's a very iconic monster. It looks really cool. I love kind of all the texture details on it. Um, so really happy that he's finally joining the collection. Next up, some newer figures. We have the Jurassic World Battle at Big Rock Dinosaur figures. And these were the guys that were featured recently in that kind of short little film that we got, that amazing little sneak peek of kind of what's to come for the last installment here of the Jurassic World franchise. So this is the Allosaurus 
Horus figure. Love that blue kind of color scheme on him. And it is a dual attack dino. So if you press the bottom one here, his arms go up like this. And I don't know if it's just mine or all of them do this, but I'm, I may have a dud dinosaur here. But when you press, when you press his front thing here, his mouth just closes. I don't know if that's like, if it's supposed to stay closed or if it's just supposed to go like chop. And lastly, we have the Nasodoceratops. This is again, dual action. So the back back button does the tail and the front action does the head. It's like, nah, nah, nah. oh, I meant, nah, nah, nah. I got these both at Toys R Us and it was buy one, get one 50% off, I believe. So I think this was like 25 or 30. So then I got this one for like 15 or something like that. So I just kind of wanted the two battle at Big Rock figures because that was such an interesting little short film. And I just kind of wanted to complete the set. Next up, we have this super unique item. And this is something that I have been trying to acquire in my collection for the longest time. This is like a Triceratops breaking out of this backpack and it's very well made. So at the bottom here, it says Universal Studios, kind of in this Jurassic text font and actually imprinted and stamped into the rubber part here of the backpack it says 1998 universal studios incorporated china and the sculpt work on this is beautiful you can see it kind of in the in the crest here like in the little bumps and dimples of the skin texture and even like on the hands here too you can see a lot of detail and skin texturing in these as well and the paint job on this is pretty awesome too so on the bottom it's like this kind of yellow color and on the top it's this orangey brown and the the hugest problem with this backpack is that it's prone to paint rub. And because it has so many protruding parts and everything and a backpack gets, you know, tossed around all the time, um, there's usually like huge scuff marks of paint missing everywhere. And this is by far the best condition of backpack I've ever seen. And um, I'm just absolutely flabbergasted with the price that I got this for. I think I got it for about um, 50, 55 uh, dollars US and that was on auction. Considering the amazing condition that this is in, it's, it's virtually mint. And to finish off our Jurassic Park uh, little section here. I ended up getting the When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth sign off of eBay. And I think these guys were originally going for $80 US, but the seller was having a sale on at that time, kind of before before kind of the Christmas rush, I guess. And these are all 50% off, like all his stock. So um, I ended up getting this for like 40 something dollars. Ever since I've had, you know, a toy room dedicated to my collectibles, I've always wanted to hang, you know, this, this giant sign along the length of one of the walls. And I priced it out. Well, I tried pricing it out at one of my local print shops and it was, it was gonna be like an outrageous price to the point where I was like, ah, oh, forget it. And even then, so they couldn't really guarantee me a, um, a good quality of print, like, you know, the, like the lettering, um, the quality, the clarity, etc. And so I, I couldn't even, it couldn't even be guaranteed. If you can kind of see the material here, it's like this heavy canvas material and it's got all these little metal grommets every which way. So they do come in a variety of sizes. There's like 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, nice crisp letters, super saturated with the colors. So super happy with, super happy with that purchase. And then kind of an impulse buy on a used site. I got this guy for like $30. I'm not a huge, huge, huge Superman fan, but I was just kind of wowed with how much this guy is worth. I think on Amazon or something, this guy's like 200 US, 250 US plus shipping or whatever. And the cheapest you can find him online, I believe is like $100 US plus shipping, yada, yada. Hoping to kind of start doing some buying and selling to kind of fund my collection, to kind of start getting a little bit more higher end items in my collection. So who knows? I might sell this guy, I might not. So this guy was called the Superman Man of Steel 11 inch Art FX uh, Koto, Koto, Koto Bukia, Koto Bukia statue or something. I probably butchered that. I think it's a really cool statue, but my favorite thing is obviously this poseable cape. So you can like pose it like he just like landed, you know, from flying. So, or you can have like the wind rushing it to one side or rushing it to the other side, or it can just, hang, you know, nicely like this. He's got a really nice facial sculpt and um, his costume, like his his clothing has really cool texturing on it. You know, he's not super heavy or anything like that. His base just clips off like that. It's his symbol, the S, and he just clips right back into it and it's just made out of plastic. And last but certainly not least, let's make way. Let's make way for Prince Ali. Hiya, yup, 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 it's the He-Man. 
Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull Mega Constructs. This guy was going on for like $299 Canadian at Toys R Us, which is an outrageous price. I mean, you can basically get like a vintage 80s Castle Grayskull with all the with all the bells and whistles for less than this price. So $299, which is absolutely outrageous. So I came into contact with this guy named Eli. He's like a Masters of the Universe collector and he was gonna do like a mega construct run and grab some of these Castle Grayskulls from his friend that owns a shop. It does like some just distribution or something like that. Um, so he grabbed like 10 of these and he came back over to Canada and he just like sold them to some of his collector friends like a really good price because he got them for a really good price. So I said to myself, you know what? It's kind of a big purchase. So I'll just make this my Christmas present to myself. So here is the back. You can see there are, there are a lot of pieces going on here. There's a lot of pieces and yeah, it doesn't sound like it's all put together. And we do have some figures. We have He-Man, the Goddess, Sorceress, Man of Arms, Skeletor, and Beast Man. You know, if there's like a one or two people in the comments down below that are like, thumbs up. I'd love to see a build of this. I'm not gonna do it. There's like generally a lot of people interested in seeing this built like in time-lapse and a little review of it. I probably will end up opening this up and building it because I think it'd be a really cool display piece. So I hope you all enjoyed taking a look at the last minute treasures that I got there in 2019. Some of these things I've been trying to acquire for the longest time, especially Actually, yeah, especially all these Jurassic items. So all these Jurassic items I've been trying to acquire for the longest time. Um, so in the comments down below, I'd love to know, you know, what is your favorite item that I got in this recent haul? You know, is it Superman? Is it the Rancor? Is it Masters of the Universe? Is one of these Jurassic items, the backpack, the cups, this amazing banner. So leave your favorite in the comments down below. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary. Bye -bye.